Hello everyone, welcome to another video and let's get into it. Samsung has finally made the One UI 5 with Android 13 official for the Galaxy S22 handsets. It's a pretty significant upgrade considering the improvements and changes they have made. So let's take a look at the top 10 best changes we're getting with the new software. New multitasking gestures. Multitasking get a lot easier with One UI 5. Notably, there are two big changes. First, go to settings and labs and enable these features now to quickly enter into the split screen view. Just select the app from the recent menu, hold and paste it. You can enter into a pop-up view or split screen view this way. There's another faster way, just swipe from two fingers from the bottom and you are into split screen mode. You can also open an app in windowed mode by just swiping from the displays upper right corner to the middle. Text extraction, a seamless text extraction feature is also included in One UI 5 similar to iOS. Go to the gallery app and select an image and just pressing the image will highlight the text which you can copy and paste anywhere. Custom call backgrounds. Now you can also set custom backgrounds on a per contact basis. You can use the built-in options or you can just use any image or video from the gallery and that will show up once that person calls you. Pretty cool. Improved widget stacking. Samsung has also improved the widget functionality, notably smart suggestions which basically changes the app depending on your usage pattern. If you use a specific app a lot that will show up here which makes things more convenient. Also look at that seamless app animation widget stacking is another new thing basically you can create a stack of widgets on top of each other which you can access just by swiping and you can add any number of widgets you want tweak notification panel the notification panel has got much needed visual upgrade it now features bigger app icons that stand out on their own on the notification shade notification bubbles have also been spaced out more making them feel more individual so this simplifies the process of sorting through notifications and makes them less cluttery visual changes. Samsung has improved the lock screen customization a lot with One UI 5. Now you can change the clock size and shape, the phones, colors, there's a lot of play around here. You can even add custom text at the bottom making the phone truly yours. Samsung has also added a lot of new colors in the color palette for the main screen and unlike One UI 4, the color palette changes will apply to all UI aspects. Android 13 changes. Per app language which lets you set the different languages from different apps, active apps. Opening the quick access menu and tapping this icon will show you the apps running in the background. You then choose to tap a close and stop the running app which is pretty handy notification permission on every app. Newly installed apps will now show permission pop-ups when you open them which is done to reduce unwanted notifications, camera UI changes. Now watermarking your photo is possible within One UI 5. Inside the camera app you can now add a detail such as the date, time, and your model name or any other text. There is now a histogram in Pro Mode to enable you to see how light is distributed in real time. Privacy Hub Samsung has completely redesigned the security and privacy section in One UI 5. Although Samsung hasn't added any new features, the app will provide you with a complete overview of your phone's security status and what you can do about any weak points. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.